Since I started doing my brows this way, I honestly get so many random compliments from strangers about my brows. It's definitely my most complimented feature by far. I must admit, I do also get a fair amount of hate on my brows in the comments of my videos, so I know this look is not for everybody, but I am personally obsessed with it. It makes your brows look thicker and fuller, and it lifts your eyes so much that it honestly changes your whole face. I love doing a side-by-side -side of one brow to the other because I just think it's crazy how much just lifting up your brows like this can really open up and lift your eyes. It's like a non-surgical eye lift, in my opinion. This specific technique with this one very specific gel product is what finally allowed me to lift my brows and actually have them stay in place exactly how I want them. Hi, I'm Amy. I've been working in the beauty industry for the last 10 years, and I'm here to show you that skincare and makeup doesn't have to be complicated. I'm going to be sharing tips and tricks that I've learned working with product formulators to develop beauty products, and also through my own trial and error in my 20s and early 30s. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please subscribe and keep watching. The first step is the most important step, and that's gelling your brows in place. If you want your brows to stay in place all day, then you need to use this got to be glued styling spiking gel. It only costs like three or four dollars for this small size and it will last you forever. I've tried countless brow gels, waxes, and soaps and none of them hold my brows up and in place like this one. It does feel hard once it dries down, but I personally prefer a gel that will be a bit hard and stay in place over one that's not going to last and not going to give me the hold I'm looking for. So to apply the gel, you're going to use a spoolie. I like to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills spoolie. I've had this for like 10 years. Any spoolie should work, though I have found that having a spoolie with denser, shorter bristles works a little bit better than, for example, this spoolie, which has the bristles that are a little bit less dense and longer. First, you take a small amount of the gel and you wanna brush it through your entire brow to distribute it evenly. So just brush the product through the entire brow. Then you wanna to start to brush the brow hairs into the shape that you're looking for. I like to brush up and then over at the ends. Once you get the brows into a good position, then you are going to laminate them down. This step of lamination is a game changer in order to get this specific, very fluffy look and to make sure that they last all day. To do this, you're gonna take the handle of your spoolie and you're gonna roll it against the brows to push the brows against your skin and laminate them in place. After you've done this, you can still brush through a bit if there's any parts that you're not happy with. And you just repeat this process until you get the brows into the shape that you like. You can't take too long though because the gel will dry down. You can also use your fingers to push the hairs into place. Once you're happy with the brows, you can take a paper towel or I use a reusable cotton pad. Either wet it slightly with some water or you can use a little bit of micellar water if you want. And you just wanna wipe away any of the excess gel that got pressed above your brow. Since I'm at the sink in the bathroom, I will use this time to run this spoolie under warm water with a little bit of soap just to clean it out so that it'll be clean for me the next day. If you don't wash the gel out every time, the spoolie does get a bit clogged and it's harder to use. I always do this step before I put on my tinted SPF and any makeup products because I find that if I put on any tinted products first, some of that will get into my eyebrows. And then when I go to put the gel in, I'll start getting these skin colored chunks of gel in the brows, which is not cute. So as long as I do the gel before I apply any of my tinted products, like my tinted SPF or any makeup, then it's fine. But that is why it's important to do this step first. 
If I have time, I'll wait a minute or two to let the gel fully dry before I go in with my tinted SPF. While I'm rubbing in my SPF, I just make sure not to mess up the shape and to kind of go with the shape if I'm rubbing it over the brows and it doesn't really cause any issues. Step two is filling in your brows. I tint my brows at home and I honestly feel like when I have recently tinted them, I can skip this step and really just the tint plus the gel makes them look full enough on their own. If you're interested, I can definitely do a breakdown step-by-step -step tutorial of how I tint my brows at home, just let me know in the comments. Traditionally, I feel like you would typically fill your brows and then add in the gel. But with this specific technique, I find that it's much better to gel them first and then fill after. Otherwise, the gel kind of moves the brow color around and it can also get a little chunky. In terms of what brow product to use, I like to use a mechanical pencil with a very fine tip. This pencil with a super pointy tip is easiest for me and gives kind of the softest, most natural look, but you can definitely use a pencil with a bigger tip. You can use a pomade. You can use one of those brow pens to draw the hair. Any of those will work. My focus in this step is really to fill any gaps and then just lightly define the brow shape. I don't want too harsh of lines because I want to keep the brows looking natural and fluffy rather than drawn on. Now, in order to emphasize the lifted look, when I'm filling, I like to focus on going a bit below the actual bottom of my brow towards the inner corner and then a tiny bit above the arch right here and that just helps emphasize the lift and I'm going to use light strokes try to create hair like strokes and really follow the direction of the hairs so here you can see I'm going a bit below the bottom of the brow just a tiny bit and then at the arch really focusing on filling up this top The final step is brushing out the brow product. Now, because my brows are basically glued to my face, I can't just use a spoolie the way that you typically might brush through to kind of blend the brow product. So instead, I use a makeup brush to gently brush through the brow product without disturbing the gel. And this allows me to soften the color and blend it without lifting up the gel. So just brushing gently to soften and diffuse the color and going in the direction of the brow hairs so that I don't disturb the gel. Before this step, I really love this My Kit Co Lash Groomer Brush. My friend Jules, who is a professional makeup artist, got me onto this. She's actually amazing. I will link her below, you should check her out. But I love using this brush. It's really perfect for this step. We can also use any sort of fine tipped brush that would typically be used for eyeliner. Here is a flat tipped one. Here's an angled one. This is just the other side of the spoolie. So any of these sort of softer, fine tipped brushes will work. So this side is filled and this side is not. So here you can see a little bit how adding the color right below the brow at the front and then kind of right above the brow at the arch can emphasize that lifted look and make the brows look a little bit more lifted and dramatic. Your brows are going to feel hard throughout the day if you touch them, but that just means you don't have to worry about them falling ever. Whether I'm using an oil cleanser or just my CeraVe Cream to Foam Hydrating Cleanser, I just always make sure to make gentle circular strokes around my brows just to loosen up the gel and break it down to make sure that it gets removed. You don't have to rub vigorously or anything, but you do want to just pay a little attention there to make sure you're getting the product out. And that is it. I love this look and I was so happy when I finally found a technique that actually makes the brows last. I promise you, your brows will not budge one bit if you follow this technique. I hope this was helpful. All of the products mentioned will be linked down below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this, then please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Definitely let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you try it and you love it or if you hate it.